Thanks for signing up with Enabling Studio. This video will assist you with getting started. Admins can access the admin dashboard in order to change account settings, assign users, teams, widgets, view reports, and view conversation history. If you have admin privileges, you can access the dashboard by simply pointing your browser to app.enabling.studio forward slash dashboard. Agents can change their availability, monitor the incoming chat queue, and answer chat requests by accessing the chat dashboard at app.enabling.studio forward slash chat. To make things easy during setup, we have added the account admin as a user in the Users tab and assigned them to a team called Demo. We automatically added the Demo team to a default chat widget for testing. From the Chat Widget tab, click the Edit icon to customize the default chat widget, or click the Add Chat Widget option to create a new one. For this quick start video, I'm going to edit the default widget. There are several settings available to customize your widget, such as the title, colors, height, width, and even different question types. To add additional questions to your chat request form, click the Add Question button. There are many options to choose from, such as adding checkboxes, a drop-down menu option, radio buttons, date and time, and many more, including the option to add a team selector for multiple teams, such as sales, support, or customer service. These teams can be defined directly below the questions. Each question type has built-in validation and can be a required option. Simply select the Required checkbox for each question type. And Custom Validation will allow you to create your own method of validation for the text question type. For example, if you would like the text field to define an international number rather than a U.S. number, you would use the question type Text Field plus the Custom Validation to match the international number format. Customer validation is a simple way to define if a string matches a particular pattern. So if you need to validate an element, symbol, or pattern, you can do it here. When you are finished with the question editor, click the Save Question button. Any changes made to the chat request form will appear in a preview to the right. If you created a new widget instead of selecting the default one, you will need to specify what team or teams to use. Just remember, if you want to assign multiple teams to the chat widget, you will need to select the teams and add the teams selector question type to your widget in order to display multiple teams. You have two different ways to embed a chat widget. The pop-out option will open the chat dialog box in a separate browser window and embedded will embed the dialog box on the web page. Click Copy Widget to Clipboard to make it easy to paste the code directly to your site. Please remember, when you're done making edits to your chat widget, you will need to click the Save Chat Widget button. Before embedding a chat widget, you may need to consult with your website developer in order to know exactly where to place this code. For my site, I will be editing a standard index.html file and placing that embedded code just before the close of the body tag. I'm using FileZilla, but there are other FTP solutions out there. Now since I made the edits to my HTML file on my desktop, I'm going to replace the index.html file that's hosted on the server and refresh the website to see my changes. You can simply do this by clicking the refresh button next to the address bar on the website or by clicking F5. The embedded chat widget will be placed at the bottom right of the web page. Again, customizations can be made from the admin dashboard. To add the pop-out widget chat link, I'm going to follow the same steps, but this time specify the pop-out window option from the chat widget tab and click the copy widget to clipboard button. I'm going to add the line of code to the contacts section div tags of my HTML page, save the file on the server, and refresh the website. You will now notice the chat link will open in a pop-out window. From the chat dashboard, agents can control their availability for answering chat requests. The chat widget uses the aggregate availability information from all team members to control the online and offline status of the Chat Now button. And as long as at least one team member is available, the Chat Now button will display as available. Let's take a look at the experience from your website. When the web visitor fills out and submits the chat request form, the agent will be able to respond directly from the chat dashboard. The website visitor will be placed in the chat queue, and when the agent accepts that chat request, the visitor will be joined to the conversation. All customer information will appear on the screen, and the agent can quickly reply to that conversation in the text field 
or by choosing a canned response from the response library. When the conversation ends or someone leaves that conversation, a message will appear in the conversation dialog box. Reports and conversations can be viewed from the admin dashboard. To view your reports, click on the Reports tab. These reports include chat requests by date and time, chat requests by date, and chat requests by weekday. More information about these reports can be displayed to the right of the chart and can be defined by simply hovering over each data point. You can filter your results based on date range, specific teams, or agents. From the History tab, a list of conversations will appear and will be defined by the agent, customer, start time, and duration of that conversation. Simply select the conversation from the list to view the conversation in its entirety. These reports can also be filtered based on teams, agents, or search criteria. For instance, you can search for agents, customers, or specific keywords from the search text field. To adjust the retention days for conversation text or request form data, select the account tab and toggle on the archiving options. Specify the retention days and click save. By default, these options are turned off. And lastly, information about your trial along with license and assigned users will appear in the subscription area. To purchase a subscription, please contact us at sales at enablingstudio.com. Thanks again for your interest in Enabling Studio. Please let us know if you have any further questions.